All right, man. Apparently, the Detroit Lions have the highest uh, pay offense in the National Football League. I've been sitting on this story for a few days. I just ain't ever. I just wouldn't have time to get to it. And um, excuse me. So yeah, they've got the highest paid offense, and I wish I could put it on the screen, but I had to. You know, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to, I would have to uh, kind of kind of shave it down a little bit, but. The most expensive offenses in the league, number 10 is Cleveland Brown at $107.4 million. The Minnesota Vikings, $107.9 million, $108.1 million. Number eight for the 49ers. Number seven is the Baltimore Ravens at $115.2 million. That's even before paying Lamar. Number six is the New England Patriots at $115.3 million. Now top five is the Dallas Cowboys at $115.6 million. The Tennessee Titans at number four at $115.9 The top three is... Number three is Arizona Cardinals at 118.5. That's even before paying Kyler Murray. Number two is the Washington Commanders at 120.4. And the Detroit Lions topped the list at 120.9. So the Lions have, you know, even I don't know if Deshaun Watson's uh, contract plays into it, but they're spending over 13 million more than the Cleveland Browns are. You know, they did get rid of Odell Buck Beckham, and um, they got rid of uh, Jarvis Landry as well, too. So they did bring on Amari Cooper. Um, so so uh, let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video. Uh, thumbs up the uh, thumbs up the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Uh, thum, uh, thumbs up the video. Share the video. I'm trying to type and do some. Uh, this is, so excuse me. Um, so, uh, so now it's kind of making the rounds and stuff of that nature, man. And it don't surprise me. It don't surprise me, man. And, uh, not one bit, uh, and a lot of people going, they, a lot of people got a lot of, a lot of, a lot of hope. How about that? A lot of people got a lot of hope. <laughs> they really believe in, in the Detroit Lions, uh, they're really, they really, they really buying into the hype. How about that? They really saying, "Oh, the Lions got a chance to do this." That's every year, and I ain't selling y'all. Uh... Oh, man, I don't know what he got. Man, I know he barking at me. The mail agent ran the whole nine. <laughs> He's still barking. He gonna wake up the dog, the small dogs. But nonetheless, so um. And a lot of people having a lot of hope in, the, in these off in his offense. I don't know what he's barking at. He got he fed. Must be I don't think it's a squirrel outside. I don't know, man. That's why I close the windows. <laughs> but uh, here you go, right here. So I mean, when when you continue and you look at it, you'll say, you know, a lot of people say, "Well, I told you, the Lions offensive line is healthy. They bringing back all the linemen. As well, to get better." You got uh, Jamison Williams. He would get there. Uh, 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 we got so he also got a real weapon in DJ Shark and all this. You see all the hype. Oh, Jared Goff gonna get more comfortable in year whatever year two. This, that, and the third. And you know, if you don't have a quarterback in today's league. You're not gonna win. All that money you got that thirty million dollar quarterback. And he can't make no plays. You said he wasn't that bad last year. Okay. We me and, me and most of these fans don't really normally agree. <laughs> we don't, uh, but uh, but we'll see. I've, I've been I've been I've been believing I've been falsely and blindly believing in the Lions since I was a child, and it's never worked. So I'm just the last few years. You people ask me how many games you think they win. I don't have an opinion. I don't have any expectations. I would just wait and see, like everybody else. I would literally just wait and see, like everybody else. And you know that's my prerogative on it. And that and that that is my honest prerogative on it. All that money being spent, but you see what Ben Johnson gonna do? Because what you gotta understand, he might be one of the most important parts to all of this. 
you see you say, well, why is he so important? You know, Dan Campbell probably going to be calling the plays because the NFL is going to make an adjustment on Dan Campbell. They're going to make an adjustment on that run, run, run. And people say, well, he got weapons to go down the field. We'll see. We'll see. We will definitely get into the CSC if those weapons make a difference, if they're healthy enough to make a difference. James Mitchell, the tight end. We'll see if they're healthy enough to make it make it make a difference. Can he get the ball to DJ Shark? Can they stay healthy? They got weapons. I just don't believe in the quarterback. I done seen better quarterbacks come and go. I done seen Stafford be here and not be able to sustain offense. You know, not being able to sustain uh sustain offense. I done seen it. Settle for field goals, turnovers, picks, punts, losing games on punts. You you seen it all. You didn't seen it all. Literally being the Lions fan. So you don't have a quarterback. We'll see. He got better weapons this year. No, 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 no deal about that. You can Tyrell Williams ain't your only outside receiver. I think that you will see uh what's the kid name um from uh Denver they got you'll see he probably you know he probably gonna be a lot better in spot play. He'd be a lot better uh 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 in spot play. So, you know, you got you know J Josh Reynolds is his blankie, his binky, you know, you know, to get DJ Shark coming off injury, we'll see. Amar Rod, he'll be better. TJ Hawkinson, he should be better. You know, DeAndre Swift, we're going to talk about him. Come, or, or we probably already been and talked about him. Or it's going to come up next. You know, uh, uh, the dude from Green Bay, Jamal Williams, another year under the belt. Offensive line should be healthy. Probably going to sustain some injuries in training camp. Hopefully it's nothing major. But, yeah, the team is better around him. But is it Cooper Cup, Robert Woods, Sean McVay good? Only time will tell. In the first game, they got a team that literally came out was literally a bad matchup. He couldn't go point for point with Philadelphia. Hey, everybody worried about the defense. I'm definitely not worried about defense. They actually got a competent head coach that made not, made something out of nothing last year. And they were competitive. And every game, instead of down the stretch, they started not to be competitive. When Tim Boyle started starting, Jared Goff was beat up this, that, and the third. They started to become very competitive. You know, so, you know, like I said before, we see on paper, it always look good. You know, you know, it always look good. It always look good on paper. So. We we we'll literally have to wait and see. Only time will tell. Only time will tell. But to me, I'm gonna take a wait and see approach. Yeah, they got more weapons and, and all that type of stuff. Most definitely. Yes, they got a good offensive line, but on paper, it always look good for the Lions until it don't. Trust me, it always good, look good on the paper for the Lions until it don't. Always. So, we, we literally, like everybody else, we have to wait and see. A lot of people getting very excited every year. It's the same thing. They getting very excited. Oh, this can, you know, we, we good on paper. Green Bay lost Devontae Adams. We back in the game. All right. You got a crash course one on one with Philadelphia Eagles, a team that housed to us last year. We couldn't keep up with them. They're a bad matchup for us. They got a lot of speed. So they're going to find out real quick and fast next year how good this offense is. This offense single handedly was one of the worst units that held this team back last year. I don't care what the stats say. I watched the games for myself. I watched the games for myself.
I literally watched the games my funky self. <laughs> I see it. I, I seen it for myself. But a lot of a lot of times fans, a lot of times fans gotta see it for themselves. A lot of times fans literally got to see it for themselves. But all that money, we'll see. But if you don't have a quarterback, you don't have nothing. Trust me. If you don't have a quarterback, you're not going nowhere. Jared Goff is that bad last year. I don't care what the stats I know what my eyes told me. So this year, he should have a little bit more confidence doing down the field and all that type of stuff. We had to wait and see. We have to wait and see, but I wouldn't hold my breath until they find a quarterback. Rebuild don't start until they find a quarterback. Rebuild don't start until they find a quarterback. Jerry Goff ain't that. If you come out this year and have a hell of a year and ball out, had no problem saying that your boy was wrong. All this money on this offense, you still don't have a quarterback. I simply put it to people like this. If Kevin Gar, if, if uh, Matthew Stafford can get it done, why the hell would you think – Jared Goff could. My biggest fear is Jared Goff uh, 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 being fool's gold. All right. Playing good for a minute. They pay him. He revert back to being Jared Goff. It would be crazy. But let me know what you girls and guys think about uh, – what you girls and guys think about uh you think about uh you know Lions have one of the highest offenses out there. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, subscribe button, it's the bell icon button. She got Detroit Lions talk playlist for more videos like this. For then she wanna support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good313, Venmo CJ Good313, PayPal link description. Um but uh yeah, other than that, check check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. One time for the one time. Peace.